Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 7 with me, Full Symmetry, and today we're at my base, which is behind me of course. We have done a lot of work on this thing, and in between last episode and this episode, I have completed the four roofs that go all the way around this thing as you can see we've completed it all and it's all up to scratch it should all be symmetrical and mirrored and all that wonderful stuff but i have decided that there is something missing i mean there's lots missing but, but that's stuff that i haven't decided upon yet but what is missing is something very very important and i think i'm gonna build it right there that is much better. There we go. A lot of you guys said in the comments that I should decorate my base with the current color of my belt. And as the color is green, I've added a green gem right there for now until we decide to perhaps go for a different color. But for now, that green is looking spectacular. As much as I'd love to work on the base today, I have no new ideas that don't need a lot of progress done before I do them in an episode. So next episode, hopefully we'll get back to that. But today we are taking a break and heading over to the shopping district because I planned the last episode over here to build something new. Now, this actually isn't gonna be the spot anymore. Uh, as you guys rightly said in the last episode, there is, of course, already a dye shop. Now, it wasn't something I was aware of, otherwise, of course, I wouldn't have thought about it as an idea, but all I'm saying right now is that I have had literally the worst luck this season when it comes to shops. Now granted, I don't usually get that involved in shops, but this season I was so excited and I had plans. I had plans to do a prismarine shop, I had plans to do an ink shop, I had plans to do an end shulker box shop, uh, which that went well, didn't it? Uh, and uh, you know, lots of other things have come to mind and then as I've logged on, you know, it seems like those things have then popped up in, uh, well, in place of mine. But today I'm actually planning on moving that shop plot over there that we claimed over this side because I logged on today and Mr. Rendog has been a busy bee. Now he hasn't been able to get back to me whether or not my shop is going to be okay in the space, but seeing as though there is no claim over here, I have built a pillar and I'm going to be building over there. Now, uh, Speaking of my shopping luck with uh, making shops and making diamonds, which has basically been non-existent, Etho has also claimed the spot that I logged on today. Yesterday, nothing was built there. Today, something was built there, and that is mycelium uh, island biome. So that over there was the ideal place because nothing would spawn. Over here, we're gonna have to be a bit more careful, and I think it's gonna be very, very difficult for me to make it non-spawnable, but we will try our best. But before we start building there, I think what I wanna do is buy some supplies to actually build with. And something I did notice is that Mr. Cub Fan, oh yeah, Mr. Cub Fan, has made the quartz, I believe, cheaper, I think. Green only, get one diamond per stack. So four of these, so four diamonds per a stack of blocks. And I think I'm gonna need maybe four stacks for today's build, maybe a little bit less, but seeing as though we're only over there working, we can come back and pick up some more. It doesn't look like he's selling out anytime soon. We are also gonna need some bone blocks and I'm really hoping that over here there is some bone blocks still being sold no not bone blocks but bones okay how how expensive are these these are one diamonds for three stacks okay that should be fine i should be able to make a decent amount of bone blocks with that and um other than that i've got the terracotta that i need to use to build this thing we should be pretty good to go so I have started planning this thing out. I bought it a little bit closer to shore because I want it to fit nicely within this sort of curvature of the land here without being too, too close, just in case we do have any mob issues. And the plan is to build Mesa, but also build a skull. I was trying to think of what would go with Mesa and Ren's already done the sort of cowboy thing over there. And I was like, you know what? A giant cow skull sort of thing would look really really cool here and what I've done is I've come up with a little plan to build one it's going to be about this big it's going to be a bit longer further back there and I might even try and give it horns I haven't decided yet if that's even going to work because what I'm going to do at the back of this 
is build one of them really, really tall Mesa Islands and just stick it just, I don't know, I guess I'll do the bit under the water <laughs> another time, but we'll, be, we'll build the, hopefully the bit above the water today. And the plan is that the opening of the mouth will be the entrance and there'll be an opening in the mountain to then get to the terracotta shop. It sounds cool, I'm liking it a lot, but there's gonna be a lot to plan and a lot to build. So I guess let's go ahead and roll that time-lapse. halfway with the skull probably actually a bit more than halfway to be honest it's looking pretty good i haven't seen it from up here just yet it sort of looks a bit like a t-rex skull but i think once we start adding some more slabs and stairs and variation blocks i decided to <laughs> i started building with the bone blocks but then of course i was like why not just go back in afterwards once i'm happy with the shape and then add the bone blocks that's way makes way more sense makes way more sense anyway i thought we'd take a quick break and ch go check out um what ethan has been up to apparently it's finished and he's only just finished it as well so I thought, you know what, let's come on over here and see what's up. There are snow golems, there's a creepy noise, and it is called Shade EEs. Shade EEs? He said it, Shade EEs. <laughs> is that what I said? how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. He said it's open though, so why not pop in here? It's a subscription store. Interesting. So now today with our latest offer to get amazing goods and services delivered regularly to your base. To celebrate our grand opening, we will be holding a limited time one to two week drawing for a lifetime supply of free glass. More than one winner will be chosen from those who enter. To enter, name a diamond block as payment with your name. Ah, oh, example. That's Is that Etho's real name? Example. Oh, interesting. Um, well, I guess... Oh, I, do, I, I still don't want to spend any more diamonds, but I mean, I'm like the first one here. Does that mean like I get? Is it? Is it? Is there more chance that I win? I don't know, but I'm naming a diamond. <laughs> is there? A, there is an anvil. Okay. Uh, and you know what? I will quite happily have some free glass. So um, please let me win, Etho. Please let me win. That that'd be great. Thanks. <laughs> I'm assuming the name of the store then doesn't have much to do with the glass and more so to do with the fact it's in the shade. <laughs> Might have something to do with that in the sky there. <laughs> so after heading over to Etho's shop, I thought we would just get straight on with the island part of this. Now, of course, it's going to be Mesa Island, so I thought, why not just build the whole thing out of just playing terracotta at the start? Because, of course, it's going to be a lot easier to get the shape correct that way if it's all in one block. It's the same with dirt. I would usually use dirt to build, but seeing as though terracotta is going to be the main block, I might as well just use terracotta and then dig out the stripes later. So that is my plan here, hence why there isn't much colour going on. Then I was just basically trying to get this thing as tall as possible. Now originally it started off looking a little bit just like a basic little hill, and I actually decided that I wanted two peaks. One quite high, and the second one sort of a little bit uh, like half, half size of the, the, the big one, I guess, to give a little bit of a dynamic to the actual island itself, because of course the skull is looking quite cool, it's quite a cool build in general, building skulls in Minecraft, but islands can be a little bit boring and quite tedious, as you can probably see in this time lapse, but I wanted to give it as much dynamic as possible, and hopefully I achieved that. So I guess if I'm happy with this thing, which I think I mostly am, we can probably start doing the detail. Although, saying that, I haven't actually uh, done a bit of uh, block building here as well underneath. It just makes it a lot easier. I'm going to need a floor anyway, and it might as well be terracotta. Uh, one thing I was going to do, though, is build this a bit more like a cave. Like, build it so that the entrance is like here sort of thing, right? Like... 
<laughs> like, is it like a hole to go through rather than a just big gaping thing? Because I wanted to feel like this sort of uh, skull, like the, the, whatever whatever this creature was. Cause it, I know I realize it looks a bit more like a dinosaur than anything else, or like a T Rex. Um, it, it, it like died here, right? That's that's how I want it to feel. Like I want it to feel like you know, <laughs> it sort of I don't know, I don't know. It just. It just washed ashore, basically, I guess, maybe. Maybe that's a better option. Uh, so it could technically be. I wonder if it looks a little bit like a sea creature of some kind, you know? Like, could it be like a, an old sea dinosaur? A sea dragon? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that doesn't matter too much. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, I just got terrified. I thought some sort of zombie had spawned and started killing me, but it's... Oh my good. Dude, I mean, you say that this biome is, is safe, but there's literally a drown with a train down here, trying to kill me. Oh, and I'm worried about my, my, my island being spawnable, and there's guys like that trying to kill me. Oh my goodness, okay, well, I guess I need, I'll still be as careful as I can be, but blimey, that guy was out to get me right there. So I just finished my stream. <laughs> This guy just literally almost face plots his way into my base. <laughs> I don't know what Red is doing, but he is absolutely bonkers. And he pooped a chicken. Um, what? Okay then. So I've been busy and I have pretty much finished the exterior of this place. I added the stripes. Now I started off with the bottom a lot, which I didn't like yesterday, but they look better now to match up exactly with the same levels that these colors are at. So of course it starts with the red, brown, the white, and then the light gray. And then I sort of just got went on their own pattern from then on out. And I really quite like it. I think it looks natural-ish enough, um, but still sort of adds its own twist to the Mesa, because I don't think the Mesa colours quite match up like that. I think in between you've always got terracotta in between, something like that, I don't know. Anyway, this thing should be safe, I believe up there is all lit up and stuff, but I need to figure out how I'm actually setting up the interior, and I have zero clue, I have zero clue on how to do it. Um, so I don't, I, like, I don't know what to do. I'm looking at this space going, this space is huge. Like, I didn't plan it to be this big. I thought it was honestly going to be, like, this big. I mean, I can make it as big as I want, I guess, right? Maybe I could make it. Temporarily, perhaps, I could make it that big. Hmm. Maybe? Because it's no good just seeing the whole outside of it, is it? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I think, well, for now, maybe we'll make a temporary, just sort of smaller cave like this. And then if you guys have better suggestions, perhaps we'll upgrade it in the future. But I want somewhere I can just put stuff to sell for now. And then uh, then we can maybe add stuff to it later on. So I think temporarily for now, we'll do something like this, where we have all 17 barrels just showing what they are. That doesn't look that good though. Oh, it looked better without. I don't know how to display what colours in them without without putting item frames. Like, do we put the item frames... I don't... I don't know. Like, do we put them above? Next to? Like, like this sort of thing? I'm trying to keep it sort of lit up in here. I'm gonna make some uh, lanterns and stuff uh, another time, but I think for now... How do we do this? I don't know, like, if I do something like this, my could work, but it's still gonna look like there's just a million and one item frames everywhere. But, you know, it, it looks like that one's for that one, 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 and then that's that one, that one, that one. You know, they, 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 they still match up, sort of. They do look better than these, but <laughs> it still looks like there's a million and one squares everywhere. Guys, how do I display this stuff and sell it? I don't, I don't know. I do not know. Uh, help is is welcome. I, I just... I'm clueless, obviously, right now on how to do it. I'm even going to put a torch in the middle because I don't trust it. Um, yeah, for now, I guess that's going to be it. I'm going to gather a lot of blocks between now and next episode and hopefully work on this because I need to obviously do the underwater bit because currently it's floating. I don't like floating islands for anyone that knows me. Floating islands just don't work. Um, it's gotta be an island that actually 
touches the bottom or at the very least sort of heads down towards there where you can't see it anymore. I also need to work on making this thing uh, a little bit more spawn proof or at least what I did come up with as a plan was to make it so that this is all too tall around here so that things can't get up onto here which I think is a good idea as well. Uh, you might still get skeletons or spiders perhaps climbing up but I think you know you have enough time for them to swim over. I also am thinking of adding uh, lily pads from there to the entrance. I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll be diagonal from here. I haven't decided. Then once I've done all that and I've actually properly completed this, I'm going to count how many blocks it, it fills up in space and then either pay more. I think I'll actually probably get a refund of my nine blocks because I don't think this is taking up nine hundred blocks I guess right I don't think it's taking up all of those but yeah this thing at night actually looks really cool with the moon behind that I mean there's a lot of creepers as well but other than that it is looking pretty sweet I like it a lot so I've just realized that I have not been checking the button at all this episode and I've noticed that I'm the only one online other than Zoomavoid which is the Zoomer's camera account now I think it's against the rules to load the button with the camera count. Oh, but I thought maybe he might have been, like, even accidentally. Oh, no. <laughs> it's fully alive. There is no new button for me. Uh, I was actually going to try and keep it green, though, to be honest, because I'm quite happy being green at the moment. Just, you know, slap bang in the middle. <laughs> I should try and get yellow and orange at some point, though, right? I guess that should be the plan. I don't know how to do it, though. Like, other than AFKing here... I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Some of the shulker boxes have been spawning gas by the looks of things. But my goodness, look at this! I think Scar's already shown this, but I think... Green team only! Wait, 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 wait. Is it open? Oh, I was going to show it from afar, because I didn't think it would be open yet, but... It says green team only. <gasps> Taste the green. <laughs> wait, what? It's all just full of green inside. Oh yeah, guys, this is where I belong. Where's my belt at? Where's my belt at? There we go. There it is. I can't sneak, dude. As soon as I sneak, it hides what colour I am. <laughs> anyway, green team for the win. Oh my goodness, I can't see myself in this room, but it is epic. Also, next door seems to be a purple belt um, club house. <laughs> this is their club house. Oh, bless them. Blossom. I don't know who's purple belt anymore though. Are we all purple belt at the moment? I, I don't know. Maybe maybe Mumbo? I, I, I actually don't know right now. It, it changes like every day what colour belt people are so I cannot keep up. Well that's about it for today's episode. I don't know how it's a, such a short episode because this thing has taken me hours and hours to work on but I hope you guys have enjoyed anyway. Do be sure of course to leave a like if you have enjoyed the episode. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go check out my Minecraft RTX video. Uh, I'll link that up above sponsored by MSI uh, and I guess I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video he clicked the subscribe button.